start, you're going to make a slip knot. To do this, you hold your arm like so, with your index finger pointing downwards. Then you twist it upwards and put your thumb through that same loop. And you grab the tail with your index finger and your thumb and pull through, creating a loop. Then you put your crochet hook in and pull the yarn to tighten it. So next is how you hold a crochet hook and your yarn. So you hold the crochet hook with your thumb and fingers, usually on this indent, and you hold it like you're cutting with a knife. And then with your left hand, you hold the yarn. So you can hold it many different ways, but this is just how I do it. So I hold it with the yarn through my fingers, like I'm pointing at something. Then I wrap the yarn around my pointer finger and grab my work with my middle finger and thumb. So I could just put them together like so. So next is learning how to chain. So you're going to hold the crochet hook and you're going to twist the hook away from you and you're going to put it on the left side of this string. Then you're going to turn it to face towards you and then a little bit more towards your left hand. Then you're going to pull downwards and pull through the loop on your hook. Just like that. And so that is one chain. So again, we have our hook facing away from us. We put it on the left side, we face it towards, and then towards our thumb, and pull through. And it just continues like that. So away from you, on the left side, turn to face towards you, and then towards your left hand, so that it will easily go through that loop. So when you face it away from yourself and turn it towards you, that's called yarning over. And then so you yarn over and pull through. Face it away from you on the left side, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. So we're going to make a chain of 11. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So each chain is that V, and it has a top loop and a bottom loop. So these are the top, and these are the bottom. So now we're going to learn how to do a single crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into the second chain, which is this second V, from our hook. So we insert, then we yarn over by going behind the string, come out of the stitch, yarn over by facing away, turning it towards us, and then towards our left hand, and pulling through both loops. So we used, we skipped the first chain as a turning stitch, and we're going to continue. So we insert into the next chain by going into the top V, then we yarn over by going behind the string, come out, and we have two loops on our hook. Then we yarn over so it's facing away from us and on the left side, turn towards us, and pull through both loops. So you're just going to continue inserting, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through both loops. That's one single crochet all the way across. And then once we've gotten to the end, we should have 10 stitches, so 10 single crochet, and 10 Vs, so we have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So then we're going to do another row, and to do that we chain, so we face it away from us, yarn over, and pull through. Then we flip it around, so we turn our work, and then we're going to work into each of the V's. So you're going to insert underneath both, so it looks like you have three loops on it, but so this is just the stitch of our single crochet. So we come up behind it, yarning over, 
come out, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So now you can do as many rows as you'd like. I'm going to do a total of 12 rows of single crochet to make a square swatch. So if you're continuing, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch or V for a total of 10 single crochet in each row. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to do one chain, flip over your work, and continue going across. So now I'm done with my little swatch. What I forgot to mention before was that if you ever messed up on any one of your stitches and you want to redo them, you just take out your crochet hook and pull the string however far back you want to go and redo those stitches. Insert your crochet hook and do them again. So now that we're done with our swatch, we're going to chain one so we yarn over and pull through. Then you're just going to pull your crochet hook, get your scissors, and cut it and pull tight. Then if you want, you can weave in the ends with a sewing needle with a wide opening. So you just put it on and weave it in. And you can cut the extra with your scissors and do it to the other side. So there's our little swatch where we chained 11 and then we inserted our hook into the second chain because the other one was our turning stitch, and we did single crochet all the way across.